Pekka, I wish you a very happy Republic Day. On 26 January 1950, India at precisely 10.18 a.m. adopted its constitution and became a republic. Though we had gained independence on 15th of August 1947, but we were still a dominion. We finally became a republic and constitutional democracy on this great day. It is to the credit of our founding fathers and visionaries or of our constituent assembly led by Dr. B. R. Ambedkar that we have a constitution that has stood the test of time. The wonder document that is our constitution is the longest written constitution in the world. For the benefit of children and youngsters present here, I would like to highlight certain facts about our constitution. It took 11 sessions and multiple sittings of the Constituent Assembly spread across two years, 11 months and 18 days to be precise to finalize our constitution. Two sets of handwritten constitution were written by Mr. Prem Bihari Narayan Raizada. The handwritten copies of the constitution were signed by dignitaries on 24th of January 1950. 24th January was chosen to be Republic Day because following declaration of Purna Swaraj by Congress in 1930, on 26th January 1930, 26th January was observed all over India as Purna Swaraj Divas. Now, coming back to our society, I am happy to share with you that in the last nine months we have completed the following projects after taking charge. Installation of energy efficient lights in the corridors, which has been greatly appreciated by residents, especially the senior citizens. Installation of new lights in the parks and streets, so that our parks and streets are well lit. Relaying of the football field has been done, so now the dust pollution problem which was prevalent earlier near the 3C tower has been resolved and 